crossover villains and world crossover. <laughs> He's a great one. So I mean, there's, there's, I don't know if I have a favorite, but DC, um, probably someone from Batman because I grew up with Batman. I didn't read the comics, but I've always loved the Joker. I've always loved uh, like Two Face, the Riddler, those types. Mm-hmm. Because I've always been a big Batman fan. Not a, not the biggest fan of the Nolan trilogy, but... Yeah. Some of those. Because yeah. I didn't read a lot of Superman, the comics. Yeah, I was, I was a super, super freak. <laughs> super freak. Super freak. <laughs> uh, question number three, do you like anime or manga? Um, I like them both. I don't. I don't really watch a lot of anime or read manga. I know. A lot of, I know people that do, but mm-hmm. uh, that's all the questions from John McClane. Thank you, Mr. McClane. Thank you, Mr. McClane, and Yippee Kay. Now we're just being fools here. Okay, Let's see here. Next set of questions is from Sid Ronnie Cash uh, two one zero five five. I think he's got... Let's see. I just dropped my damn phone. Oh. I only pick it up. He's got five questions for us. All right. Okay. Question number one. Assuming Shane Black is Predator is going to bring back Arnold and Danny Glover, who would you cast to replace Adrian Brody as the character voice? I believe that my choice is Philip Winchester. Uh, He played in the TV show The Player and The Strike Back. I'm not familiar with that guy. Um, but Adrian Brody, damn, it's weird because I just watched Adrian Brody on uh, on fucking um, Andrew Dice Clay show, and he was a mate so good on that show. It totally made up for Predators. <laughs> to see him on that show was incredible. He was incredible. It's hard to imagine, like, the, the dice getting along with Adrian Brody. Yeah, it, it, it made me remember what I liked about Adrian Brody, because I love him from movies like Summer of Sam. You know, that movie, I, I love him in that movie. He, he's amazing in that movie. Um, but yeah, he was, like, he was, he was playing himself like a method actor, and Dice was, uh, he was like, I, I'm doing this play, but I need to be manly, and, and Dice, you're the most manly person I know, can you teach me to be exactly like you? So the whole episode is Adrian Brody becoming Andrew Dice Clay. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, who would I cast to replace him? I wish you take him out. <laughs> yeah, I, w- I would think take him out. Because, you know, are, are they gonna, is Shane Black gonna do like the original Robert Rodriguez script and send Arnold to, uh, to the Predator Planet too. I don't know. I haven't heard the updates. I just know that there's been some interest there in bringing back Arnold. Uh, and he hasn't mentioned anything about Danny Glover, but I know that the fans are pining for that. Yeah, no, Because great. that's something that I hope they do. Mm-hmm. Uh, Adrian Brody's character in Predators, really, you can leave out. Yeah. Because he has to find a way to get back to Earth, right? So... Um, because really, I don't give a shit if you live or die. <laughs> I know that's cruel, but and I don't know this Philip Winchester. Yeah. So, but that's just a uh, uh, the question number two: Who should play James Bond after Daniel Craig is done? Oh, I would love to see uh, Pierce Brosnan return. Heck, I would I would chop off my arm to see. Sean Connery return. Um, I think I, if I'm wrong, let me know. But I think at the like the, at the time they were trying to find that James Bond, they uh, talked about uh, what's his name, Clive Owen. Okay, yeah, yeah, he would he would be all right. Or um, who recently expressed interest in playing James Bond? William Shatner. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'd just be like that Priceline commercial. Yeah. Mm. 
uh, someone was talking about being trying like they want to play James Bond, and I thought he was a good choice. Like he'd be good for that, but it wasn't Clive Owen. This is like very recent. I, I I'd go with like an Idris Elba. I would love to see like Idris Elba as James Bond. Yeah, I'd be fine with that actually. Yeah, I know some people object to it, but that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you could change it up like that. Or the um, guy from uh, Mad Men. But he kind of reminds me more of like an archer, you know that that show Archer. Oh, on him. Yeah, I think he would be a better archer than a James Bond. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. I mean, we'll probably find out in a few years. Because mm-hmm. I don't know how many uh, Bond films Craig has left. I think his contract. Have, I think he's done, right? I think. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's done what four? Yeah, I think he's done four. So. See, uh, question number three: What do you think would be a good story for a Twister sequel? Hmm. Twister is such a great movie. I got to see that in a theater, and that was amazing. I'm jealous. Yeah, and it was, it, the weird part was we went to see it, and there was a storm outside, and uh, the electricity kept on dimming and shit. That was cool. Oh, so it's it like a real deal. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good old times. Um. I guess, uh. And it's cool, too. I got to do the ride at at Universal, too, for Twisted. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, that was fun. I just remember we were standing, like, on this kind of, uh. It's like a porch, like a setup, like a little. Yeah. And, like, just a bunch of, like, wind effects and rain. Yeah. And, like, you know, it's uh, shaking, like, the ground was shaking. That was very cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know how you would do a Twister sequel. I'm sure... I think they did talk about it at one point. I swear it was one of those, you know, development hell sequels. Mm-hmm. Like, it was going to be in 3D, or... I could be wrong about that. That'd be cool. Like, a Twister movie in 3D. Yeah, or just how about that? Just uh, now it's the 20th anniversary of Twister. Just re-release it in 3D. Yeah, I would love that. Because that's so, a great movie. That's yeah, I have it on DVD. Yeah. I actually blew it. <laughs> uh, but that's a great one. Uh, mm-hmm. So question number four. Who is the most underrated action star? I gotta go with Sly. Because he does really well, but then, you know, he's always getting crap. You know. Uh... Sly's a great one. If I had a pick, I would say Jeff Speakman. Yeah, he's great. He's great. And uh, I'm glad he overcame cancer. Mm-hmm. So, I heard he's doing better. That's good. That's very good. Uh, question number five. Do you think that... Okay, this is funny. Do you think that Tony Jaw would make a good older short, short, uh, <laughs> short round for Indiana Jones 5? <laughs> 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 Yes. yes. You know what? I like that idea. Yeah. I would see that as people may scoff at that, but I think that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> no time for love, Dr. Jones. We got to like short round kicking ass with uh, Harrison Ford. Yeah. And it's Tony Jaw. I cheat very little. You cheat very big. <laughs> Dr. Jones. <laughs> I mean, it'd be cool to have the original actor back, but mm-hmm. I forgot his name. But Tony Jaa, that's a, it's a sort of a crazy notion, but I think I would like that. You know, with, with them doing this fifth movie, I would love for them to bring back Short Round. Yeah, I mean, I know they got the same writers back, but I think I would like that. Mm-hmm. I know it's... So, I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Just to kind of, people may ask. Well, you look at it, and Temple of Doom is technically the prequel, right? Yeah. So it would make sense for the fifth and final Indiana Jones to come full circle to bring Short Round back. Because if he was there for the first adventure, he should be there for the last adventure. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um... But that's all the questions for that page, and that's the, all the questions from YouTube. Um, all right. But I got two questions from Andrew Talavera. 
Oh, what's his name, right? They said he's on a messenger. Let's see here. Um, let's see. From Andrew Talavera, question number one. Would you like to see Mortal Kombat R, uh, rated R and made a movie who would voice the main hero characters Luke Kane, Johnny Cage, Sonya Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and so forth? Uh, do you know any voice actors like Scott McNeil or Mark Hamill that would do it? Kind of like, yeah. Um, I would like to see that. Um, I, you know, you can always get you know other ones like Brooke Shields and you know any any actor who would you know like uh, I I'd love to see Peter Weller do more voice acting. He was really great with uh, Dark Knight, right? So I still want to see that. He was really good in that. There's a lot of that I haven't seen, but that I like. That's on my list. The uh, Dark Knight Returns. Yeah. Um, that's good. Uh, yeah, I think Mortal Kombat animated film, I think you should do it. Mm -hmm. I'd be something like before. Make it R-rated. Oh, if yeah. You make, if you can make the killing joke R, do an R-rated Mortal Kombat film like that. Yeah, super bloody and crazy. Um, question number two. Who do you think deserves to know the comeback? Thomas Jane, Lance Henriksen, or Michael Bean? Honestly, I would love to see all three of them come back. Yeah, same here. If I had a... Gosh, it's hard between, between those three because they're all great actors. If I had yeah. a big one... I would say Michael Bean. Yeah, yeah. He deserves it because he was kind of slighted. You know, like with Alien 3, with that whole thing, he was very... They, like, tried to pull one over on him, you know? Yeah, I would... I think out of those three, because we haven't seen Michael Bean in a while... I know the last time he was interviewed, he said, fuck Alien 3. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hicks alive in number five. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Alien 3. I'll say it again. Yeah. Uh, but that's the questions from Andrew Talavera. Thank and you. closing out here, I got some questions from Matt. All right. So I'm going to pick Matt's brain here. I got some questions for him. I got 10 easy questions. Um, All right. So you ready? Yeah. All right, question number one. If you could ask Stallone three questions, what would they be? Oh. I would ask him, I would ask him to put out those uh, director's cuts. Definitely those director's cuts of uh, the Rambo movies and maybe the, the Rocky movies. Um, I would love to ask him what stuff that they were going to do or that they shot didn't make it into those movies? Um, let's see. Third question. Third question. Um, I guess maybe what his thoughts on the future, you know, if, uh, where he would want to go or where what he would want to do or, Pretty much that would be it. Like, what, what he would be doing next. 